What is up, everybody? Day number four. We're gonna take the Maverick out and go fish at the airport. 100 degrees, feels like 111. So it's a little bit warmer than yesterday. But I've got some Gatorades, I've got some water. Put some sunscreen on, we'll be fine. Hopefully we can go out and catch some fish. I've only caught 10 fish so far this month. And I think that I need just a good numbers day. I don't know if that's gonna show up today or not, but we're gonna get out on the water and go catch some bass, maybe run into some snakehead, and probably catch some slimy old catfish. All right, we are all rigged up, ready to go. Forgot my paddle. So, probably gonna go up and fish this outflow of water, do that for a little bit. If there's nothing popping, we'll come down and fish some pads. So, let's get this baby launched. Oh yeah, sandals off. Oh baby. Make sure everything's tight-ish, tight enough. That looks good. So I've fished off of this Vibe Maverick two times. This is my third trip out on it. And I am just so freaking impressed by this thing. It's a lot of fun. It's super stable. I love being able to stand up. It's got plenty of room. It's pretty fast. It takes like minimal effort to paddle this thing. It's just pretty awesome. Really nice for getting out on small bodies of water like this where I couldn't bring the John boat. I wouldn't really want to bring the John boat. You know, just throw this in the bed of the truck. It's super light too. So like loading it up, taking it out, putting it into the lake, super easy to do by yourself. So this is right where I'm gonna start here. You can see this outflow of water and it really, really turns up the water over here. Last time I was here, I caught two really good bass, probably like three, three and a half pounds. And then I caught close, probably like eight catfish. The catfish are spawning and I've just been slaying them bass fishing. It's ridiculous. I've talked about it a couple times. Those fish have one of the hardest bites I've ever experienced. Like, it's pretty cool. They absolutely hammer baits. I mean, freaking just demolish them. We're starting off with the dilly. Dilly, dilly, dilly. First cast. Oh, oh, eat it, come on. That might be a catfish. Oh, that's a cat. Oh, Jesus. First cast. I told you guys, the catfish here are crazy. Look at this thing. Oh, there's another one chasing it. Oh, I snagged him. Oh, no, I didn't. It's in his mouth. Look at that thing. First freaking cast. Hammered it, too. I told you. It's insane how hard these things fight. I don't know if you guys can see that giant red sack coming out of this catfish. I personally don't know what it is. So if any of you guys do, if that's like how they're laying their eggs or if that is their eggs, let me know. It's kind of interesting. Like, I don't even know how to get that off. It's gross. Oh, well. Just throw the bullshit up there. Just for fun. kind of nice, it's like a trolling motor. I just pull myself wherever I want to go. We're gonna come back to the bullshit. I just see something I really want to throw at real quick. We need some numbers, we need numbers. A little crawl on a shaky head next to some wood with a bunch of current. I don't know, maybe not. There's like two nice eddies on each side of this outflow that you think bass would just freaking sit in and just get crushed. Here we go. Oh, whoa, that was a bass. Right up in that eddy, like I was saying. I couldn't tell, I got a real awkward hook set on him. Maybe there's a couple more up there. There it is. Oh yeah, come here. That's what we were looking for. A little one pound bass on the scrounger. This has become my favorite freaking bait to throw this summer. Thanks to my buddy John. See you, dude. That's number 11 for the series. We'll take it.
boy is it hot. It's been probably two hours since I've gotten out. One bass, missed a bass, two catfish. I've kind of worked my way down that bank from that outflow. I'm fishing some pads in shallower water now. I'm gonna throw a frog around a little bit. I'm gonna throw that sprinker frog around. Just try something different. I wouldn't really say the bite is on by any means, but you know, we'll figure them out. We got probably two or three more hours out here. I thought it was gonna storm there for a bit, but luckily no rain yet, knock on wood. Let's go get some fish, boys. Sprinkler frog. Hmm, quick change. Let's try a fluke. Just a bare fluke. These fish are going crazy. I just can't even get on them. There's so much action going on around me and I can't even get bit. Like, not even a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go, switched over the fluke. Just the bare fluke. First, second cast once I got over here, this dude crushed. I think this is the size of the fish that I've been seeing. Jumping around, but there's a bunch of them, so. There we go, number two for the day. I don't know if it's like they want a smaller bait or a bigger bait. There are some bigger fish in the mix that are jumping out here on this flat. So let me try gunfish out. These fish are absolutely punishing me right now. I have tried six or seven different baits to get them to bite, and they're small bass, the majority of them, but I've seen some bigger ones in the mix, and I just cannot get them to bite. I switched up to a fluke, and I had that one fish, probably like 12 inches, maybe, maybe 10 eat. Um, but besides that, I've had not even a sniff. So probably just gonna paddle back up to that water outflow, finish the night out there, see if we can get a couple more in the boat and figure something out. I thought coming down this way would be a little better, but it has proven to be a little tough. I'm gonna put on a Texas rig, my go-to, because the fishing's been so tough. When in doubt, do what you like and what you're good at. I don't think I'm that good at fishing it, but I catch a lot of fish on it. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, let it go. Something just rocked it. That's the first bite I've had since I caught that last fish on the fluke, which was about an hour and a half ago. Slim pickings. This does not feel like a catfish. It feels like a big fish. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Oh yeah, it is a good one. Come here, bud. Here we go. Come here. Come on the Mav. Oh yeah, he wanted that too. He crushed it. Oh my god. Here we go. Probably a two and a half pounder. Third fish of the day. It's been a grind again. I think I might get on a few more now that the sun's down, it's cooling off. Um, I put the Texas rig on and probably 10 minutes later I caught this, so. Fish what you're comfortable fishing when it's really tough. It'll help. See ya. Yeah, got one. Finally. All right, guys, I'm just gonna basically let the wind drift me in. I'm gonna fish this Texas rig back to the ramp. All right, guys, that's it. I'm donezo. I see you back at home. Made it home. Oh. Tackle warehouse package. All the goods. Please release me. Got some flukes, trick worms, a jackal frog, which I've really been wanting to try for a while. Dealies. Another frog. Can't 
show you those. Well, yeah, it's the next day. Maddie and I are heading off to a tournament down in Aquia. It's 4th of July. Hope everybody has a really good, safe, fun day. We're running late, so we got a boogie. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.